Uh, my name is Mira Nakashima. I'm the daughter of George Nakashima, and uh, I worked under him for 20 years as his design assistant. And uh, when my dad passed away in 1990, um, we had most of this wood off-site with no place to go. I didn't know whether we'd be able to keep the business going, um, but I looked at the pile of wood and I decided we have to keep going. We have to use this wood <laughs> uh, and we have to keep our employees uh, in a job and I have to fill these orders that my father had taken. It's hard finding the right piece of wood for the right job, but we do our best. <laughs> it's hard to remember where everything is. Um, but we do have it on a database. We can theoretically uh, find it uh, by size and shape and uh, species. We try to uh, stay as true to the methods of construction that my father developed as, as closely as possible. Respect the shape of and quality of the wood itself. Each plank from each log is different. I personally have to hand draw each plank before I can really figure out what to do with it, before I know how to price it. And, and you, when you're studying and you're, you're drawing something by hand, you can see details that you don't see in a photograph. The experience of, of living with the wood in their homes uh, and the fact that it is not just a piece of furniture, but it is also a work of art. His journey through life, he was always a seeker. and He finally found that he would, uh, through his relationship with trees, trees could be teachers, that they have so much to teach uh, human beings, just their way of life, the way they live, and uh, connected to the earth, that that would be his way of connecting with nature, connecting with other human beings. So in his life work, he was taking pieces of trees that had died, but still had the living spirit in them. What my father built it on up until now has been a very personal relationship with our with our clients. I mean, people will come back and they say, oh, I remember, I mean, even when they sell it on secondary market, some of them will, will be in tears because they remember picking out the piece of wood that they would made that particular piece of furniture out of with my father and how much it meant to them and, and how he talked to them and became their friend while they were, he, while they were making the furniture. And I, I would hate to have that kind of relationship die because it's, that's very important. Sam Malouf said that too. He said the important thing is the relationship not only with the woodworker and the wood, but the direct relationship with the client and, and between the wood and the client and the maker, who is also the designer, um, you have an integral process which you wouldn't have otherwise. And I think that's really important for us to keep going.